Hello boys and girls. We're going to start a brand new unit on the Cold War with our first lesson on the Iron Curtain. After World War II, the Allied armies freed all the nations of Europe that had been conquered by Germany. They helped form new governments and gave them money to rebuild their cities. Then the Allies left Europe. After World War II, Stalin no longer trusted the United States or Great Britain. He felt that the United States and Great Britain had let Germany invade Russia and then purposely taken their time in giving help. Stalin believed that they were trying to make the Soviet Union weaker. The United States and Great Britain were afraid Stalin was going to try to spread communism all over Europe. Soviet troops moved into Eastern Europe and never left. They stayed in countries like Poland, Romania, Hungary, and the eastern half of Germany. They set up their political system called communism. Communism is when the government controls all the factories, natural resources, and the production of goods and services. The people are not in control. Communism leads to terrible dictators like Joseph Stalin, who murdered millions of his own people. The other problem is that people aren't motivated to work hard because the system isn't based on competition. The political system of the United States is capitalism. People and businesses control most of the economy. Reward those who work hard and those who don't struggle. Competition causes the economy to grow because individuals want to earn more, so they work harder. The United States saw the Soviet Union as a threat to their way of life. The Soviet Union thought they had won World War II because they lost the most lives. They wanted to gain land as a reward for winning the war. The Soviet Union saw the United States as a threat because of nuclear weapons. After World War II, the Soviet Union wanted countries to become communists, and many of the Eastern European countries came under their control. Truman and Churchill wanted countries to become capitalists because they feared that communism would cause countries to be ruled by strong government dictators. They feared dictators because dictators have all the power. They also feared Stalin. Although he had helped defeat Hitler, he was a cruel dictator who was responsible for the death of more than 20 million of his own people. At the end of World War II, tensions between the Soviet Union and the United States deepened, leading to a time period known as the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union did not trust each other. The two countries had different beliefs and political systems. Communism for the Soviet Union and capitalism for the United States.
after World War II ended, the United States, Great Britain, France, controlled Western Europe and the Western portion of Germany. They set up democratic governments. The Soviet Union controlled Eastern Europe and Eastern Germany. They set up communist governments. People living in countries controlled by the Soviet Union could not leave. Armed guards watched over the borders. On March 5, 1946, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill said that an iron curtain had fallen across the continent of Europe. The imaginary line that separated communist Eastern Europe from democratic Western Europe was called the Iron Curtain. Both sides feared one another. Each side began preparing for another war. arms race. During the Cold War, both the United States and the Soviet Union were terrified of the other country and were afraid that the other was going to try to take over the world using their nuclear weapons. As a result, both countries began to make as many nuclear weapons as possible to defend themselves in case of war. Arms refers to weapons, and the race refers to the competition to have the most. Many new technologies were created as a result of the arms race. Last but not least, have a nice day. Get